We created a tool to help you with a fluency assessment. It should really speed up the process. So I'm going to walk through and share with you a little bit about this tool. First, I want to say that this is a very small piece of the fluency assessment. Um, if you look at this current article on consensus guidelines for the assessment of individuals who stutter, you will see that looking at and calculating disfluencies of speech is a small piece of the puzzle. And there's also not a lot of consistency on the measures that are used. So we set this up based on research that's out there. You may choose to use different research, um, but it will still facilitate the process for you. You can change your guidelines as much as you want. Um, so let me kind of show you how we do this. There is consensus on the fact that we should use a number of different speech samples and different types of speech samples. So that's our first goal is to collect those. Then we want to look at stuttering like versus non stuttering like disfluencies in this process. And what we use are, um, for instances of stuttering, single syllable repetitions, whole word repetitions, audible sound prolongations and inaudible sound prolongations. And then for non stuttering like disfluencies, we use phrase repetitions, interjections and revisions. We put this into our Word document, do a search. So we code each of these disfluencies um, using the codes in that previous slide. Then we do a search and we can quickly count them up and put them into our system. And we use these guidelines. Again, this is based on research. Um, there are a number of different uh, research articles that talk about cutoffs for what we consider stuttering and what we don't. It also will vary based on the language background of your client. So this tool is set up to use 3%, 10%, 72% um, for these different categories. So here's what the tool looks like. And we can just go in and put in our numbers. So I've put a few numbers in here for our single syllable repetitions, whole word repetitions, etc. And you can see that once you've put your number of words in the sample here, it will calculate all of these numbers for you. And again, the guidelines that we're using of whether these disfluencies are indicative of stuttering or not are 3% or greater for total instances, 10% or greater for total disfluencies, and 72% or greater of stuttered disfluencies over total disfluencies. So there are, in this file that you can download from our website. There are three different um, arrangements of this so that you can put in three different samples. You can also copy it and paste it down if you want to do more samples. And then you just drop that, clip it and drop it into your report. So you have these samples and percentages in there. You can download this at bilinguistics.com. Look for fluency assessment calculator.